free. This one's the WWE champions. Pay to win like every day, yeah. I don't play ball games. Funny how they still think I'm a broke man. Then I'm broke. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Me. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. Okay, it looks like I don't have anything to shout out yet. So if any contributions come in, I absolutely will shout them out. However, being that it's already past noon, I do not want to do Suggestion Box today. I will say this, all right? Last few times that I've done the Suggestion Box, all right? A lot of people are like, well, when you do the Suggestion Box, you seem to get angry or upset. And if that's the case, then what's the point of the Suggestion Box? Well, here's the thing you have to understand. When the Suggestion Box, the point of the Suggestion Box is supposed to be constructive criticism, saying, here's a suggestion for you that perhaps would help you to improve and grow, all right? What I'm getting a lot in the suggestion box are very, very big, like, demands. Like, it's not, oh, so you should really do this thing because this will improve your content. It's more like, I just don't like this, so stop doing it. That's not constructive criticism. Constructive criticism is, listen, here's something that you can do to improve. Here's why it would improve your content. And here's you know some examples of how it would either benefit you or how it's benefited others. And we feel it will apply to your content or how people have said that this is something beneficial. That's different from, I just don't like your podcast, so stop doing it. Or shorten your podcast dramatically. And then I explain, well, I don't understand why you would ask that because all evidence points towards the podcast doing really well. The, the viewership on the podcast has done well. Engagement during the podcast is great. I've actually had some days where all my support came in during the podcast. And when I started playing the game, the whole stream dried up. We'd lost hundreds of viewers and we didn't get any support for the rest of the stream. Everything is pointing towards me doing more style of podcast. Why are you asking for less podcast? And every time I say that, I don't get a valid response. I just get, oh, I think it's boring. I want more gameplay. Make the podcast shorter. That's not constructive criticism. That's your personal demands. I don't need personal demands. I don't want to know specifically what you like and don't like. That's not suggestions. That's your own like pet peeves with my content. That's not a constructive criticism. You understand the difference? If you're going to say, I think this should change or improve, you have to justify with a good reason why, not that you personally don't like it. All right? There's tons of things I personally don't like on the internet but I don't go to them and complain about them. I just don't partake in them then. You see the difference? Constructive criticism would be like, for example, what OP Boone has been doing, <clears throat> where he's been saying, hey, here's a suggestion of something you can implement that'll probably make your content better. Now, sometimes I take OP Boone's suggestions and I implement them and it works really well and we get big improvements. Literally what I just did earlier during the show where I did the pause recording and, stop and resume recording, that was him. And I'm going to use that from now on when I need to like get out of the chair to do stuff. Like today, Jasper's in the office, but Kat will come home at some point during the stream. And instead of saying, I'm going to leave an empty chair here for five, 10 minutes, I'm going to hit that pause and resume record button. That's an awesome piece of constructive criticism that has improved my content. But I'm not always going to take what OP Boone says and do it. For example, yesterday he had the suggestion about ripping the news segment out of my streams and setting it up as separate videos to be separately promoted and everything. I would like to do that but I don't have the means to, nor do my editors who are working on the throwback channel. I'm not gonna tell them, stop working on the throwback content to come over here and do this instead. I'm gonna tell them, keep doing what you like and maybe long-term, like I said, maybe if I had an employee who I was actually paying, who could sit here every day and sift through all my content and edit parts out, then I could do that. That's how other YouTubers do it. They have employees to do it for them, not volunteers. But I don't have an employee because I can't afford one because I'm not big enough to have an employee. You understand? So that's the thing. That's constructive criticism. I don't get mad at OP Boone because he made a suggestion that doesn't work. I just explain why. But when your suggestion box input is, I don't like this because you don't like, like for yesterday, I don't like that you advertise for 10 to 30 minutes demanding income. I don't do that. That literally doesn't happen. There has never been an instance where I'm playing a video game like this and I say, well, guys, I've had it. You're not contributing today. So I'm going to put the controller down and I refuse to play until someone contributes. I'm going to turn my camera off and I'm not turning it on until someone contributes. You guys got to pay up. When the hell has that ever happened in the 16 years that I've made content? 
That makes absolutely no sense that people would say shit like that. But that's what I'm getting in the suggestion box. It's like, that literally doesn't happen. You're citing things that don't happen and telling me not to do them. That They don't happen. But the problem is, you're watching detractor content. And the detractors only emphasize shit that makes me look bad. They will act like that literally just happened. Like, oh, you see, he did that. Or he, did, you know, he does, it doesn't happen. The shit that they're saying happens doesn't happen. But if you just sit there and you watch the drama content, then you complain about drama. There's one person to blame. You. You're the one who watched the drama content because you wanted drama. So don't ask for less drama that doesn't exist. You created it. Again, if people would just watch this content, if you would be here every day for the show and hang out with me, you would realize that most of the complaints about the show don't exist. Wait a minute, I like the show. Why would I want the podcast to be shorter? People are hanging out, having a fun conversation. Everyone's having a good time. Why would we want a shorter podcast, right? Wait a minute, advertisement? He didn't even advertise. I haven't yet. Have I said a word about contributions today? I think I did talk about the throwback channel, but that was it. Or no, I wasn't the throwback channel. It was actually the react channel. I haven't said anything about it on this stream about it, right? And we're a good hour in. So what are you talking about? It doesn't exist. You made it up because you listened to the wrong people, right? <clears throat> anyway, that's the difference. And that's what I want to say when I emphasize, I don't mind doing the suggestion box. It's just that what you're noticing is a lot of the suggestions are not suggestions. They're demands of little pet peeve stuff that doesn't benefit the business if I were to do it. No. Shortening the podcast when all evidence is saying the podcast is doing better than a lot of the gameplay streams doesn't make sense. Just because you don't like the podcast doesn't mean that I have to change it. It means that you need to adhere to a schedule. You know when the podcast starts and ends, so come after the podcast ends. And if you have a problem with that, I don't know what to tell you because in life, you're going to have to learn how to read and adhere to schedules. And if you can't do that, you're going to have a pretty miserable life. So maybe get a head start on it now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, 